I'd say that Santa Claus the movie has about 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes at a push, of actual story. The rest of it is very slow fluff. This film was released in 1985. It's directed by Janot Swark, and I apologise if I've mispronounced that. It's written by David Newman and Leslie Newman. And we have a cast including Dudley Moore as Patch, John Lithgow as Beezy, and David Holston as Santa Claus. And when I say it takes 40 minutes to get to the main narrative, I'm not joking. I actually checked the time once the main narrative kicked in, and it was about 39, 40 minutes. Those first 40 minutes is just setting the scene of how Santa Claus came to have his workshop and how Santa Claus came to be. It really could have been told in 10 minutes. So initially, I thought it looks good visually, but the story is terrible. And honestly, once the narrative kicked in, we had about an hour of the main narrative. But even then, I'd say there was barely half an hour of actual story. The narrative focuses on the fact that Santa Claus is feeling kind of tired having done this job for a very long time. So he tries to hire an assistant with one of the elves. Another one of the elves ends up teaming with uh, a toy company in New York City, and this elf doesn't realise that this toy company is actually producing very poorly made, dangerous toys. And that part of the narrative, I guess, was interesting enough, but again, very, very slow, all style, and basically no substance. Santa also meets a, a little boy who has no home, and he was sweet. I did like him. I thought he was a really lovely character, and he's called Joe, and he's played by Christian L. Fitzpatrick, and I thought he was adorable. He was probably the only decent thing about it in terms of the characters. That's not to say the other characters weren't very good. I just didn't care for any of them at all. What they brought to it just wasn't interesting. But whenever Joe was on screen, I genuinely found it to be fascinating or interesting, or I enjoyed those moments, regardless of whether the narrative was slow. So Joe definitely helped save the film. The narrative, though, is very poor. And when I say all style, no substance, the style is pretty good. Occasionally. Well, I'd say for about half of the film, the sets are beautiful and the costumes are brilliant. So visually, it is actually pretty good for about half of it. The other half, I'd say, is fine. Not bad, but maybe just not spectacular. But a good amount of the film is quite appealing to look at. Occasionally, it looks quite magical. But unfortunately, the substance is very, very lacking. I will say, though, Santa Claus looks brilliant. David Huddleston as Santa gave a really great performance. The costume is stunning. I have, like I'm sure a lot of people do, a strong image in my head of what I like Santa Claus to look like. And this image worked very well. So in all, I can sum up by saying Santa Claus the movie is a terrible story, but with potential. In the right hands, it could have been a really captivating, emotional, moving, magical experience. Unfortunately, it's about probably over an hour of drivel and maybe half an hour, 40 minutes of a decent narrative, but the execution was horrendous. The set designs look good. The costumes look good. Some of the more magical scenes are quite compelling. The performances are absolutely fine. No issues there. Do I recommend it? Maybe for background viewing. If you just want something on for company while you're pottering around the house or doing something, then yes, I think it, maybe it could be a magical experience in small doses. But if you're looking for something where you want to sit down and fully immerse yourself in that experience, this would be a very boring journey. So in certain circumstances, maybe Santa Claus the movie is okay as background viewing. But as an entertaining film, it's not good at all. I'm surprised that I don't remember having seen this as a child. I loved Christmas films Growing up, I still do, obviously. But I don't remember having seen this before. And it wouldn't surprise me if actually maybe I had seen it and I was tremendously bored and vowed to never watch it again and then I just forgot about it. Maybe not. Maybe I just hadn't seen it. But either way, watching it now for what I'm considering is the first time. I thought Santa Claus the movie was absolutely terrible in terms of how the story was handled. There are a couple of positives, but in general, I can't say that it's a good film.